a discrete cosine transform expresses a finite sequence of data points in terms of a sum of cosine functions oscillating at different frequencies. DCTs are important in numerous applications in science and engineering, from lossy compression of audio and images, to spectral methods for the numerical solution of partial differential equations. The use of cosine rather than sine functions is critical for compression, since it turns out that fewer cosine functions are needed to approximate a typical signal, whereas for differential equations the cosines express a particular choice of boundary conditions. In particular, a DCT is a Fourier-related transform similar to the discrete Fourier transform, but using only real numbers. DCTs are equivalent to DFTs of roughly twice the length, operating on real data with even symmetry, where in some variants the input and or output data are shifted by half a sample. There are eight standard DCT variants, of which four are common. The most common variant of discrete cosine transform is the type II DCT, which is often called simply the DCT, its inverse, the type II DCT is correspondingly often called simply the inverse DCT, or the IDCT. Two related transforms are the discrete sine transform, which is equivalent to a DFT of real and odd functions, and the modified discrete cosine transform, which is based on a DCT of overlapping data. Applications, the DCT, and in particular the DCTII, is often used in signal and image processing, especially for lossy data compression, because it has a strong energy compaction property, most of the signal information tends to be concentrated in a few low-frequency components of the DCT, approaching the Cahunen Lowe transform for signals based on certain limits of Markov processes. As explained below, this stems from the boundary conditions implicit in the cosine functions. A related transform, the modified discrete cosine transform, or MDCT, is used in AAC. 4Bs, WMA, and MP3 audio compression. DCTs are also widely employed in solving partial differential equations by spectral methods, where the different variants of the DCT correspond to slightly different even odd boundary conditions at the two ends of the array. DCTs are also closely related to Chebyshev polynomials, and fast DCT algorithms are used in Chebyshev approximation of arbitrary functions by series of Chebyshev polynomials for example in Clenshawa Euro Curtis quadrature. JPEG. The DCT is used in JPEG image compression, MJPEG, MPEG, DV, DALA, and Theora video compression. There, the two-dimensional DCTII of blocks are computed and the results are quantized and entropy coded. In this case, is typically 8 and the DCTII formula is applied to each row and column of the block. The result is an eta, a transform coefficient array in which the element is the DC component and entries with increasing vertical and horizontal index values represent higher vertical and horizontal spatial frequencies. In formal overview, like any Fourier-related transform, discrete cosine transforms express a function or a signal in terms of a sum of sinusoids with different frequencies and amplitudes. Like the discrete Fourier transform, a DCT operates on a function at a finite number of discrete data points. The obvious distinction between a DCT and a DFT is that the former uses only cosine functions, while the latter uses both cosines and sines. However, this visible difference is merely a consequence of a deeper distinction, a DCT implies different boundary conditions than the DFT or other related transforms. The Fourier-related transforms that operate on a function over a finite domain, such as the DFT or DCT or a Fourier series, can be thought of as implicitly defining an extension of that function outside the domain. That is, once you write a function as a sum of sinusoids, you can evaluate that sum at any, even for where the original was not specified. The DFT, like the Fourier series, implies a periodic extension of the original function. A DCT, like a cosine transform, implies an even extension of the original function. However, because DCTs operate on finite, discrete sequences, two issues arise that do not apply for the continuous cosine transform. First, one has to specify whether the function is even or odd at both the left and right boundaries of the domain. 
Second, one has to specify around what point the function is even or odd. In particular, consider a sequence ABCD of four equally spaced data points, and say that we specify an even left boundary. There are two sensible possibilities, either the data are even about the sample A, in which case the even extension is tkbabbed, or the data are even about the point halfway between A and the previous point, in which case the even extension is tkbabbed. These choices lead to all the standard variations of DCTs and also discrete sign transforms. Each boundary can be either even or odd and can be symmetric about a data point or the point halfway between two data points, for a total of 2 a, 2 a, 2 a, 2 equals 16 possibilities. Half of these possibilities, those where the left boundary is even, correspond to the eight types of DCT. The other half are the eight types of DST. These different boundary conditions strongly affect the applications of the transform and lead to uniquely useful properties for the various DCT types. Most directly, when using Fourier-related transforms to solve partial differential equations by spectral methods, the boundary conditions are directly specified as a part of the problem being solved. Or, for the MDCT, the boundary conditions are intimately involved in the MDCT's critical property of time domain aliasing cancellation. In a more subtle fashion, the boundary conditions are responsible for the energy compactification properties that make DCTs useful for image and audio compression, because the boundaries affect the rate of convergence of any Fourier-like series. In particular, it is well known that any discontinuities in a function reduce the rate of convergence of the Fourier series, so that more sinusoids are needed to represent the function with a given accuracy. The same principle governs the usefulness of the DFT and other transforms for signal compression. The smoother a function is, the fewer terms in its DFT or DCT are required to represent it accurately, and the more it can be compressed. However, the implicit periodicity of the DFT means that discontinuities usually occur at the boundaries. Any random segment of a signal is unlikely to have the same value at both the left and right boundaries. In contrast, a DCT where both boundaries are even always yields a continuous extension at the boundaries. This is why DCTs, and in particular DCTs of types I, II, V, and VI generally perform better for signal compression than DFTs and DSTs. In practice, a type II DCT is usually preferred for such applications, in part for reasons of computational convenience. Formal definition, formally. The discrete cosine transform is a linear, invertible function, or equivalently an invertible n or n square matrix. There are several variants of the DCT with slightly modified definitions. The n real numbers XO. XN1 are transformed into the n real numbers XO. XN1 according to one of the formulas, DCTI. Some authors further multiply the XO and XN1 terms by H2 and correspondingly multiply the XO and XN1 terms by 1 per H2. This makes the DCTI matrix orthogonal, if one further multiplies by an overall scale factor of, but breaks the direct correspondence with a real even DFT. The DCTI is exactly equivalent, to a DFT of real numbers with even symmetry. For example, a DCTI of n equals 5 real numbers apked is exactly equivalent to a DFT of 8 real numbers apked divided by 2. Note, however, that the DCTI is not defined for n less than 2. Thus, the DCTI corresponds to the boundary conditions, xn is even around n equals 0 and even around n equals n1. Similarly for xk. DCTE. The DCTII is probably the most commonly used form, and is often simply referred to as the DCT. This transform is exactly equivalent to a DFT of real inputs of even symmetry where the even indexed elements are zero. That is, it is half of the DFT of the inputs, where, for, and for. Some authors further multiply the XO term by 1 per H2 and multiply the resulting matrix by an overall scale factor of this makes the DCTII matrix orthogonal, but breaks the direct correspondence with a real even DFT of half-shifted input. This is the form used by the JPEG standard and by MATLAB. 
the DCTII implies the boundary conditions, xn is even around n equals minus one half and even around n equals n one half. xk is even around k equals zero and odd around k equals n. DCTII. Because it is the inverse of DCTII, this form is sometimes simply referred to as the inverse DCT. Some authors further multiply the exo term by H2 and multiply the resulting matrix by an overall scale factor of, so that the DCTI and DCTII are transposes of one another. This makes the DCTII matrix orthogonal, but breaks the direct correspondence with the real even DFT of half shifted output. The DCTII implies the boundary conditions, xn is even around n equals 0 and odd around n equals n. XK is even around K equals minus one half and even around K equals N one half. DCTIV. The DCTIV matrix becomes orthogonal if one further multiplies by an overall scale factor of a variant of the DCTIV, where data from different transforms are overlapped, is called the modified discrete cosine transform. The DCTIV implies the boundary conditions. Xn is even around n equals minus one half and odd around n equals n one half. Similarly for xk. DCTV DCTs of type I4 treat both boundaries consistently regarding the point of symmetry, they are even odd around either a data point for both boundaries or halfway between two data points for both boundaries. By contrast, DCTs of types VVIII imply boundaries that are even odd around a data point for one boundary and halfway between two data points for the other boundary. In other words, DCT types I4 are equivalent to real even DFTs of even order, since the corresponding DFT is of length 2, now 1, or 4n or 8n. The four additional types of discrete cosine transform correspond essentially to real even DFTs of logically odd order which have factors of na plus or minus a one-half in the denominators of the cosine arguments. However, these variants seem to be rarely used in practice. One reason, perhaps, is that FFT algorithms for odd-length DFTs are generally more complicated than FFT algorithms for even-length DFTs, and this increased intricacy carries over to the DCTs as described below. The trivial real even array, a length 1 DFT of a single number a, corresponds to a DCTV of length n equals 1. Inverse transforms, using the normalization conventions above, the inverse of DCTI is DCTI multiplied by 2 slash, n1. The inverse of DCTIV is DCTIV multiplied by 2 per newton. The inverse of DCTII is DCTII multiplied by 2 per newton and vice versa. Like for the DFT. The normalization factor in front of these transform definitions is merely a convention and differs between treatments. For example, some authors multiply the transforms by so that the inverse does not require any additional multiplicative factor. Combined with appropriate factors of H2, this can be used to make the transform matrix orthogonal. Multidimensional DCTs Multidimensional variants of the various DCT types follow straightforwardly from the one-dimensional definitions, they are simply a separable product of DCTs along each dimension. For example, a two-dimensional DCTII of an image or a matrix is simply the one-dimensional DCTII, from above, performed along the rows and then along the columns. That is, the 2D DCTII is given by the formula. Technically, Computing a two-dimensional DCT by sequences of one-dimensional DCTs along each dimension is known as a row-column algorithm. As with multidimensional FFT algorithms, however, there exist other methods to compute the same thing while performing the computations in a different order. The inverse of a multidimensional DCT is just a separable product of the inverse, S, of the corresponding one-dimensional DCT, S. For example the one-dimensional inverse is applied along one dimension at a time in a row-column algorithm. The image to the right shows combination of horizontal and vertical frequencies for an 8x8 two-dimensional DCT. Each step from left to right and top to bottom is an increase in frequency by one half cycle. For example, moving right one from the top left square yields a half cycle increase in the horizontal frequency. 
another move to the right yields two half cycles. A move down yields two half cycles horizontally and a half cycle vertically. The source data is transformed to a linear combination of these 64 frequency squares. Computation, although the direct application of these formulas would require O, N2, operations, it is possible to compute the same thing with only O, and log N, complexity by factorizing the computation similarly to the fast Fourier transform. One can also compute DCTs via FFTs combined with O, N, pre and post processing steps. In general, O, and log N, methods to compute DCTs are known as fast cosine transform algorithms. The most efficient algorithms, in principle, are usually those that are specialized directly for the DCT, as opposed to using an ordinary FFT plus O, N, extra operations. However, even specialized DCT algorithms are typically closely related to FFT algorithms or Euro since DCTs are essentially DFTs of real even data. One can design a fast DCT algorithm by taking an FFT and eliminating the redundant operations due to this symmetry. This can even be done automatically. Algorithms based on the Coolier Euro Tuki FFT algorithm are most common, but any other FFT algorithm is also applicable. For example, the Winograd FFT algorithm leads to minimal multiplication algorithms for the DFT, albeit generally at the cost of more additions, and a similar algorithm was proposed by Fieg and Winograd for the DCT. Because the algorithms for DFTs, DCTs, and similar transforms are all so closely related, any improvement in algorithms for one transform will theoretically lead to immediate gains for the other transforms as well. While DCT algorithms that employ an unmodified FFT often have some theoretical overhead compared to the best specialized DCT algorithms, the former also have a distinct advantage. Highly optimized FFT programs are widely available. Thus, in practice, it is often easier to obtain high performance for general lengths n with FFT based algorithms. Specialized DCT algorithms, on the other hand, See widespread use for transforms of small, fixed sizes such as the DCTII used in JPEG compression, or the small DCTs typically used in audio compression. In fact, even the DCT algorithms using an ordinary FFT are sometimes equivalent to pruning the redundant operations from a larger FFT of real symmetric data, and they can even be optimal from the perspective of arithmetic counts. For example, a type II DCT is equivalent to a DFT of size with real even symmetry whose even indexed elements are zero. One of the most common methods for computing this via an FFT was described by Narasimha and Peterson and Morkul, and this method in hindsight can be seen as one step of a radix 4 decimation in time Coolier Euro Tuki algorithm applied to the logical real even DFT corresponding to the DCT2. Because the even indexed elements are zero, this radix 4 step is exactly the same as a split radix step. If the subsequent size real data FFT is also performed by a real data split radix algorithm, then the resulting algorithm actually matches what was long the lowest published arithmetic count for the power of 2 DCTE. So, there is nothing intrinsically bad about computing the DCT via an FFT from an arithmetic perspective via Euro it is sometimes merely a question of whether the corresponding FFT algorithm is optimal. Example of IDCT, consider this 8x8 grayscale image of capital letter A. DCT of the image. Each basis function is multiplied by its coefficient and then this product is added to the final image. Notes. Citations. See also, JPEG, contains an easier to understand example of DCT transformation, modified discrete cosine transform, discrete sine transform, discrete Fourier transform, list of Fourier related transforms, discrete wavelet transform, references. Wench Young Chen. Smith, C. Flyke, S. A. Fast computational algorithm for the discrete cosine transform. IEEE Transactions on Communications 25, 1004 a Euro 1009. doi, 10.1109 slash TCOM. 
1977.109391A, Narasimha, M. Peterson, A on the computation of the discrete cosine transform. IEE transactions on communications 26, 934 a euro 936 doi, 10.1109 slash TCOM. 1978.1094144, more cool, JA fast cosine transform in one and two dimensions. IEE transactions on acoustics, speech, and signal processing 28, 27 a euro 34 doi, 10.1109 slash TASSP. 1980.1163351A, Sorensen, H. Jones, D. Heidman, M. Burris, C. Real Valued Fast Fourier Transform Algorithms. IEE Transactions on Acoustics, Speech, and Signal Processing 35, 849 a Euro 863 DOI, 10.1109 slash TASSP. 1987.1165220A, R.I., Y. Aggie, T. Nakajima, M.A. Fast DCTSQ Scheme for Images. IEICE Transactions 71, 1095 a Euro 1097 a, De P. Betley, M. Fast Fourier Transforms, A Tutorial Review and a State of the Art. Signal Processing 19, 259 a euro 299 doi, 10.1016 slash 0165-1684, 90, 90,158 ua, Ahmed, N., how I came up with the discrete cosine transform. Digital signal processing 1, 4 a euro 9 doi, 10.1016 over 1051 minus 2004, 91, 90,086 Zedua, Big, E. Winograd, S. Fast Algorithms for the Discrete Cosine Transform. IEE Transactions on Signal Processing 40, 2174 a Euro 2193. DOI, 10.1109 78.157218 A, Mulva, Enrique, Signal Processing with Lap Transforms, Boston, Artec House, ISBN A 0 89006 467 9 A. Martucci, S.A. Symmetric Convolution and the Discrete Sine and Cosine Transforms. IEE Transactions on Signal Processing 42, 1038 a Euro 1051. DOI, 10.1109 slash 78.295213 A. Oppenheim, Alan. Schaefer, Ronald. Buck, John, Discrete Time Signal Processing, Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, Prentice Hall. ISBN A 0 13 754920 2 A. Frigo, M. Johnson, S. G. The Design and Implementation of FFTW3. Proceedings of the IEEE 93, 216 A Euro 231 DOI, 10.1109 slash JPROC. 2004.840301 A. Press, W. H. Tukolsky, S. A. Bettling, W. T. Flannery, B. P., Section 12.4.2. Cosine Transform, Numerical Recipes, The Art of Scientific Computing, New York, Cambridge University Press, ISBN A 978-0-521-88068-8. External links, Discrete Cosine Transform at planetmath.org. SYEDRLKM, The Discrete Cosine Transform, Theory and Application, Implementation of MPEG Integer Approximation of 8x8i DCT, Matteo Friego and Stephen G. Johnson, FFTW, HTTP, www.fftw.org slash. A free C library that can compute fast DCTs in one or more dimensions, of arbitrary size. Tim Klintzel, Fast algorithms for computing the 8-point DCT in IDCT, HTTP, Dobbs.com 1844108891.
LTFAT is a free MATLAB Octave toolbox with interfaces to the FFTW implementation of the DCTs and ESTs of Type I4.